Hey, it's Mr. Keys, and today we're going to take a look at the piano keyboard, which is one of the first things someone learning piano or music production would do. The piano is one of the most versatile instruments capable of playing chords and melodies all at the same time. For a lot of composers and producers, it is the instrument of choice as well. Let's take a look at the piano. The first thing that we need to learn is how to find notes on the piano. In the musical alphabet, we have seven letters, A through G. After G, they repeat again, which is why you see the notes drawn in a circle. Each of these letters can be found on a white key on the piano. These type of notes are known as natural notes, which means that they are white keys on the piano. Each letter has a corresponding sharp and flat. Sharps and flats are the closest notes to the right and left of a white key, respectively. Here's an easy way to remember which one is which. The word flat has the letter L in it, so flats are to the left of each natural note. The word sharp has the letter R in it. Therefore, sharps are to the right. Now let's figure out where all the sharps are on the keyboard. Since this note is C, C sharp is the black key to the right. This is D and D sharp. This note is E, but E sharp is not a black key. Remember, sharps are the closest notes to the right of a white key. Therefore, this is E sharp. This note is also called F. Many notes have multiple ways to name them. We call this enharmonic equivalence, which is just a fancy way of saying another way of naming a note. For instance, E sharp is enharmonically equivalent to F since they are the exact same note, but they can be named differently. Think of it like a nickname. All right, moving on. Now we have F and F sharp, which is to its right, then G and G sharp, A and A sharp, and finally, B and B sharp is the white key to its right. B sharp's enharmonic equivalent is C. Now let's take a look at flats. Flats are the closest notes to the left of a white key. Here's C, so this must be C flat, which is also known as B. Here's B and B flat. Here's A and A flat, G and G flat. F is here, but F flat is the white key to its left, also known as E. Here's E and E flat, and finally D and D flat. Now that we know where all the flats and sharps are located, we can take a look at the rest of the letters on the keyboard. The notes in the alphabet repeat all the way up and down the keyboard. Take a look. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the notes of the keyboard. It's very, very important. 